Alright guys, it's CK here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 for the first episode of Modify Monday. Now you may be noticing a trend every day that there's going to be a dedicated series. So today is Modified Monday. Now I'm going to be customising a car that I have not done yet surprisingly. It's one of the earliest barn finds which I personally found. It is the old Holden Ute, like one of the first Utes ever made. This car was produced in 1951. That just shows you how old it is. So it's nearly the same age as my dad. Actually, it's, it's one year younger than my dad. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty damn crazy to think about. So let's go ahead and customize it. So in terms of the type of build, I'm going to do something a wee bit different than normal. It's not going to be a cruise build. It's not going to be like a drift build. It's kind of going to be an off-roady build. But with a farmer's perspective in mind, because in Australia, where these were actually based, obviously, farmers used to use these. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually really interested to see how this is going to turn out. Now, you can obviously get, like, stupid freaking engine swaps, like a 6.2 litre V8, which I'm tempted to do. But, if you want to kind of keep it realistic, I might keep it with the stop power terrain. I'm not too sure because I don't exactly want a crazy freaking farm mobile, do I? Now, all wheel drive would help the situation, but I think I'm going to keep it in rear wheel drive because Horizon is, is relatively okay for rear wheel drive cars going off road. I can see the point if you're in like the snow and everything, but if you are like blooming going off road, it's okay. And we're going to go for a supercharger because that only seems right in a big Aussie machine like this. So let's see what we could do in terms of the aerodynamics. I doubt we're going to get it in good. We've got the sort of front splitter on the front. We could take the full bumper off completely, which looks like it's kind of like it's bottom jaw or bottom row of teeth have just been kicked off. Can we get rid of the bed? No, we can't. Or oh, the little tonic cover, that's what I meant to say. Hmm, it, looks, it still looks okay, but I wish you can colour code that. Like put it on the same colour as the body. Now I have got some rims in mind for this thing, so we will be going for off-road tyres, because that's what we will be doing. See right here, should go for maximum width. Now hopefully we can get a little bit thicker on the back, yes we can. So two fives, that is good, that's what we're going to need. Now, I don't know, because this thing is a really, really classic car, and I don't exactly want to mess around with the looks of it, but I want to show you what rims I did have in mind, guys. It is a set of 1552s. These are the rims which I'm talking about. I think they actually look not too bad on this thing, but if it's going to be like an off-roady build, I'm not too sure. You know what, bugger it, let's just say us farmer's rich. <laughs> I mean, it's only, it's only rims in it, it's not exactly going to do any difference when it's like, oh, going off-road, it's the tyres which count when you go off-road. Uh, let's see here, we go for 17, I kind of like the size that they're on, but at the same time it does look a little bit stupid. Uh, 17s we'll go for in the front, and we'll go for 17s in the rear as well. That doesn't look too bad to me, honestly. I mean, if I met a farmer which was rolling this thing with these rims on it, I'd probably shake his hand because he's got some style. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's see uh, what we could do in terms of the transmission and everything, or the drivetrain area. This is just the kind of boring part about the build. I mean, I've asked you guys before, do you want me to cut out the drivetrain part? And a lot of you have, a lot of you have said keep it in, so yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason why I do it, it's doing it for you guys. So we're going to need everything possible for handling this because it's... It's quite a hefty thing, as you can see, you know. It's already up quite high, so if we put it on rally suspension, I've got a funny feeling it'll be even more roly-poly, so I think we might be keeping it on stock suspension today, guys, because I don't think that we're going to need to tweak this thing in terms of, like, suspension, because this is what this thing was made to do. So, let's see, we'll put it on some anti-roll bars just to... Blooming, stiffen it up a wee bit, but I believe the concept behind the actual U itself is because like a farmer or something needed something to transport the cars to, to transport the cars, to transport the cows to market or something, and then his missus can jump in and go to the shops in it, so I think that's right, Australians, tell me if I'm wrong or right. The farmer uses it to take cattles to market, and then the wife jumps in to go to the shop, but I just realised the door handle, that's quite a cool design, I like the little sort of metal on it and everything. So weight reduction, how much does that take us down? 
That's actually surprisingly light for like a big thing like this. That's even lighter, look at that. Bloody hell man, I never expected that. That's crazy. Now obviously there's going to be no weight over the rear end, so that's the thing I was slightly worried about, but the thing right now that we're going to need is a bit more power, not shit tons, but we're going to need a bit more because we only get like 60 horsepower, I believe. So we'll start with the camshaft. There we go, that takes us up to 107 already. I think, tell you what we'll do, I'll probably max this one because I think the stock engine's not exactly going to get a lot of horsepower, so we may as well max it out and see what we can get. Exhausts. Now, I'm surprised I've never driven this thing before, guys. I have never driven it in the, I think it's five or six months that Horizon has been out. It's been sitting in my garage for like that amount of time thinking, do I drive it, do I not drive it? Because, to be honest, I'm not exactly a big fan of the looks. I mean, it's cool as retro and everything, obviously, because it's in 1951, but... Ooh, I don't know. It's not really my, my, my sort of type of looking car, if you know what I mean. I mean, I like cars like this, like the Mercury uh, Coupe and stuff like that. I know the Mercury Coupe isn't a sort of ute or like extended cab or anything like that, whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, it's... A cool looking car nonetheless, I've got to say that, so Australians, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me, I love utes to death, I really do, I'm a big fan of the Malou and everything. So, we are getting 251 horsepower, 313 foot-pounds of torque, and an overall weight of a surprising 2,011 pounds. Holy moly! <laughs> so, I'm going to take this thing into the paint shop right now, and see what colours are available. Oh, I like that, that's a manufacturer colour and all. Only problem is, it kind of changes the colours of the rims, so we're going to need to go into the rims right now and change it back. I believe I had it on brushed alum. I, I was going to say aluminum, but I'm not American. <laughs> Aluminium, there we go. To be honest, I don't really care how you say it, so everyone to their own. It's like tomato, tomato. Everyone to their own, there we go. I'm trying to think which one it was. I think it was steel, actually. Steel semi-gloss. How badass does that look? I really like it in this colour, man. It looks so much better than the green. And there we go, guys. That is it. The Holden Newt is complete. I'm very glad that I changed it to this blue colour because it looks absolutely fantastic on it. Now, the one thing that I did is put my little EK sticker on there. You can find that on the storefront. Thank you very much to the guy that actually made it for me. And it's kind of like my little trademark now. I kind of like putting them in the rear centre of the car. It looks pretty, pretty good. I mean, this, this thing suits the blue a lot more better, as I said. So anyway, let's go ahead, get out there, and get farming. Now, I'm looking on the map right now to see whereabouts would be the best place to sort of, like, farm and everything. Places that have kind of, like, flowers and kind of croppy areas. I don't know if there is any. But this is the sort of area which I imagine a farmer would go around. So I think we'll take a drive down there. It's not that far away. Oh my god! Okay, I forgot I was driving this thing. I love the interior immediately on this. Blooming awesome! The steering wheel's a bit rusty, but what do you expect with the age of this thing? But I have to say, the, the steering's actually surprisingly quick. The suspension's obviously a bit roly-poly, but we can stiffen it up if we need to in the tuning. But right now, I kind of want to keep it as a stock tune and see how it fares. But for cruising, it's actually not that bad down the highway. I need a break here, obviously, or else we'll slam right into a big truck, man. I actually miss the simpler days of dashboards like this, where it's just like a speedometer, a fuel gauge, oil pressure, and stuff like that. And today we've got all different sorts of distractions, where it's like touch screens, Apple CarPlay, etc, etc, etc. This is awesome. But I think this is like an ideal place which we can cut onto right now and see where it's like off road. Now farmers don't exactly go at the speed of light and everything, so we're gonna take it relatively easy. Now I'm no expert in farming guys, you should know that, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I thought it'd be a little bit of a change to do, just taking something off road through here. Slowly destroying the property. I love the sound of this car man. Pretty, pretty, uh, what's the word? Not raunchy, but you know what I mean, it's kind of like a little dog. It's one of them, like, tiny chihuahuas. That's what it's like, thinking it's big, 
<laughs> it started at 60 horsepower and now it's got 215 horsepower. It's the Chihuahua on steroids. That's what it's like. Or since it's Australian, it's a dingo. It's a dingo. <laughs> it's a dingo on steroids. There we go. That's more. That's more certain to it. It's a dingo on steroids. But it's coping with the bumps pretty good, actually. Oh god. Did not expect that jump right there. How does it cope with water? It zoom pretty well. It needs a bit of a clean anyway, because look at the state of it. Come on, baby girl, come on. I mean, if it was all-wheel drive, as I said, it would get a lot more traction through there, but... I'm genuinely quite impressed, apart from the roly poly in a bit, which I think we're going to sort out right now, because it is a wee bit too freaking bouncy and about. Let's see, we shall go for the spring. Oh shit, I can't. Because I didn't fit any sorts of sports this bench on. Okay, okay. Stiffen it up a wee bit there. Oh my god, why is my voice suddenly went in one tone? I don't know. <laughs> right, so I've just thought of an idea. We could take this thing on a farmer's rally route. How about that? We go all the way down here, all the way around this way. And then up into Surfer's Paradise to deliver the stuff that we need to actually deliver. If there was stuff in the back. Alrighty then, so here we go. Pulling on to the Farmer's Rally Course. This is a farmer on a mission. And my god, that looks good from the front and blue. That was really good. So we're going to see how well this thing can actually perform. When we go max out. I need to get the cows to the market on time. I'm running a bit late. Oh god, freaking Land Rover. Jesus Christ, get my way, Myers Manx! Get my fucking way, or else the cows will not be sold! This thing is actually impressing me! Apart from, like, as I said, the roly pole in the set, which has now actually been fixed a wee bit. As you can see, it doesn't roll about as much. It's pretty good! It's enough acceleration. Because it is that light, you can just flick it around, man! Like this, this is a surprisingly good car, man. Never thought I'd say that about it, but it is pretty good. I think I've went the wrong way. I don't know if I have, we'll need to see where this route actually takes us. Oh shit! It's circling back around! We're going in a lap of someone's house. Okay, I did not mean to do that. We need to go back the way. Through the water we go! Yes! Cows are a little bit wet now, but fuck it, they'll survive. This is probably my favourite view in this car, man. I just love the steering wheel, it's just so freaking cool. I can see the city. My god, oi! <laughs> this thing. It's a riot, man. It's actually a big laugh. Oh god. A little bit skittish now, we're going over the bumpy terrain. Can we get a handbrake in? Can we get a handbrake drift? Yes, we can! And... Are we on the tarmac? Yes, we are! Oh my god, we need to make that a series or some shit, fucking... Farmer's Rallycross, or like a rallycross section that we need to go to. Now, I don't know where the market is in Surface Paradise, but we're just going to need to improvise. What looks relatively markety. So we just... Will we just drop them off in this fucking center plaza area? I think we shall. There we go. Costa coffee. Here, have some cows. Now, personally, I think that went quite well in terms of the farmer's test. I know it wasn't the most in-depth thing in the world, but since it is like a truck and everything, you can store things in the back, wouldn't it make big sense to have one of these things in a construction site? And quite handy we have one in this game. Fuck it, I'm not driving all the way around. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shortcut. I'm in an off-road mobile. I can do it, can't I? Slowly destroying the property of the construction site. I'll just pay that back, mate. Sorry. I'm a farmer. I'm a I'm a baller farmer. I've got the money to do up my freaking truck, so I'm sure I can recover the price of a gate. Now, if there's any improvements that I would do to this thing, I'd probably say maybe a wee bit heavier steering, because it is a tad on the light side. As you can probably see, it's pretty damn light. Oh my god. A bit numb as well, I should say. But apart from that, it's relatively okay for what it needs to do. 
like going off road and blooming like farming and everything like that or be on farmland it actually is not too bad can we take the jump? yes we can <laughs> this is slowly turning into a freaking destruction session man you think you're something special don't you mate just cause you get that big digger in front of you but you have these rims no. Granted, you do have massive fucking rims, but not as stylish as mine. This thing is pretty good. I'm glad I done a build on it finally, and it can do donuts as well. <laughs> oh my god. This thing is just the ultimate. Seriously, it is the ultimate for gangster farmers. There we go. If any farmer in Australia wants to get the gangster side on, then definitely boom and buy this thing. <laughs> if they are available anymore, they're probably very, very expensive in Australia or anywhere in the world for like a classic one in mint condition like this. But yeah, let me know what you make of it in the comment section below guys. Do you want to see some more builds like this? Because I had a lot of fun making this one. Uh, so yeah, you can suggest any theme that you want me to do. As I said, Modify Monday, this is the day which I'm going to be building cars. Tomorrow is going to be Testing Tuesday, when I'm going to be doing reviews of cars. And it's going to be kind of an interesting one because tomorrow I'm going to do something I don't think anyone... Oh, shit. And that's the problem about looking forward on the camera. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be doing something a bit different than what I normally do, guys. And something that I've not seen anyone else really do before. So hopefully you guys like it. It's coming up 7pm BST tomorrow. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this one, then leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. And share it around as well. That would be greatly appreciated. You guys are the best. And user what keeps me going, honestly. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. From me and Holden. Bye-bye.